We're talking written budgets today. So if you want to see how I spent my money and you want to snoop around and see where my finances go, then hey, stick around. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Leroy, and welcome to my channel, 40 and Broke, where we're all about getting out of debt, saving, investing, and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of because that's what it's all about, living the life we've always dreamed of. So, written budget, the most important tool in your financial toolkit. Why? Because it tells your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. You tell your money where to go, it's going to do what you tell it to, or theoretically. So this way, you're not just spending your money over here, spending it over here. Oh, I got to pay a bill. I got to pay a bill. I got to pay groceries. I got to put gas in the car. I've got to do X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. Boom, where'd my money go? You write it down and you say, look, X amount is going towards these bills. X amount is going towards gas. X amount is going towards just you know, want to go out and have some fun on Friday night, whatever. So you write it down, you know how much you are allocating to spend and right off the rip, it just puts everything back in your control. And that's what it's all about. You being in control of your money, not your money controlling you. So what have I done to control my money? So my paycheck was $2,000. We have $700 right off the rip goes to the wife every time because she budgets groceries. She pays a handful of the household bills and the stuff that she needs. So $700 right to her. And she's able to set money aside with that. She can save up this, that, and the other. So that leaves me with $1,300. Right off the rip, boom, 350 goes to my mortgage. 250 goes towards insurance. That puts me at $600. M1 gets $50. The van that I'm buying gets $100. So now we're at $750. Josie and the wife are going on the trips, the Panama trip. And the trip to New York City, that is $175. So now we're at $925. Phone internet, $65, so we're at $990. Medical bill gets, <clears throat> excuse me, $35, so now we're at $1025. Patreon and Canva is getting $25, so now we're at $1050. Um, I ordered on Amazon. First time I have had to actually pay for an Amazon order in, well, I think it was like June of 2023. So it's been like almost a year that I've actually had money out of pocket for credit cards or uh, for Amazon order. And I bought something that cost $130. I was out of pocket 20 bucks. So $20 went to the, oh, I wrote down 30 because it was initially 30. Then they took another 10 out of it. So that puts me at, we'll say the 30, puts me at 1080 because that's what I have, but it was actually ended up being $20. And if you want to know how I do that, I use Fetch Rewards. I use Receipt Hog. I use Amazon Shopper Panel. Um, I'll leave the link in the description down below, but I have a video called Five Side Hustles that requires zero skill and zero dollars to set up. And you can do all of them on your phone. Everything I do is on my phone. So if you want to know what those uh, side hustles are, look in the link down below and it'll be there. They're super simple. And I do say one thing, if you're going to uh, sign up for a lot of these things, use referral links. That's why I keep all these referral links down in the uh, description box below. Because if you use my my referral link or even if you don't want to use mine and you want to use somebody else's the 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 sign on bonus is always always better if you use a referral link than if you just go and sign up for it on your own so cuz if you sign up for it on your own they usually don't give you they don't give you a referral bonus 
Whereas if you use somebody's referral link, they give you a sign-on bonus. And then I get a little bit of a bonus. You get a bonus. It's a win-win. So that's the one piece of advice I give anybody. If you are signing up for a receipt app or a money-making app or even a credit card or a bank account, look for a referral. Look for a referral link. And a lot of times you'll get a bonus. So... That's just my little tip. Anything you're signing up for, you'd be shocked. If you can get a referral link, you usually save money or you get extra money, one or the other. But back to this budget. What I say? Credit card. So now we're at 1080. So I'm donating to the band. So like I said, they've got the uh, trip where they're going to Josie's going to New York. Well, it's her band. The entire band's going to New York and they are... They're going to actually play on Carnegie Hall or at Carnegie Hall on the stage at Carnegie Hall. So they're, they're, uh, they're uh, what's the word? Accepting donations. They're trying to, they're trying to uh, raise money so that as many kids as possible can actually go on this trip. Just like $1,300 to go on this trip for one kid. And, um, uh, so I'm going to donate a hundred dollars to that. That pays one of the kids' down payments, you know, so that'll be a hundred dollars. And if I can, if I can keep doing that over the course of the year, then Hey, somebody, somebody's bill gets paid that helps somebody out. So that puts me at 1180. And then the emergency fund is, I'm going to put $50 into that. That puts me at 1230 and it leaves me with $70 left. So I'm going to keep that $70 in my account for a buffer just in case I want to spend something, which I always do. I always spend something. So there it is. Written budget. I am telling my money where to go instead of wondering where it went. This way, as I'm looking over my finances, when I look into my accounts, I'm not broke because I'm just like, oh my goodness, where did all my money go? I can say, it's like I, I tell the guy because when I get paid on Friday, I'm like, it's kind of crazy that uh, I just got paid and all the money's gone. But all the money may be gone, which technically it's not, but everything's covered. So I don't have the stress of wondering is this, am I going to be able to cover this bill? Am I going to be able to cover that bill? What if another bill pops up? Do I have money for it? I sure do. Why? Because I'm allocating money out of my paycheck for it. They say if you start putting yourself on a written budget, it's automatically like getting a raise. And why do they say that? Because you start knowing where your money's going. You're telling your money where to go. You're giving it a job. And that's why I love that saying so much. It tells your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. This is why I say the written budget is so important because it is the first step in getting your finances under control. And most people think they have their finances under control. But let's be honest, if your money's just flying out the door as fast as you get it and you're wondering where your money went, it's it's not under control. It's controlling you because as soon as something pops up, boom, you're like, oh, where am I going to get the money? Whereas if you have a written budget, you'll start knowing where you can get the money. You'll start knowing where the money went and you'll start knowing what you, what you are supposed to spend your money on. And it's a work in progress. Don't get me wrong. Just because I write it down doesn't mean that this is exactly where my money's going because I do have impulse spends, but that's why I keep that 70 extra dollars in my account. That's why I, my paycheck was actually $2,095, I believe. So I didn't even count the $95. So technically there's $165 that should be left in my account that I don't budget into here, but I use it as a buffer in order to buy my Mountain Dews that I bought yesterday, you know, so that's $5. It's 
the little expenses that I know are going to pop up because I want to buy something and I'm going to buy it. And I keep that money in my account so that I don't have an issue when it comes time to pay in the credit card. I'm not scratching my head wondering where the money's going to come from. So, but that's it. Budgeting, budgeting, budgeting. The most important tool in your financial toolkit. You can't go wrong with it. So, all right, everybody. Have a great day. And hey, that's it. Just have a great day. You know, and if it's not a good day, just roll with the punches. Tomorrow will be a better one. So, all right, everybody. Have a good one.